I'll let you in on a secret. I never use noise reduction, ever. Okay, okay, maybe once or twice, you know, a few times in my entire almost 20 year, almost 20 year long career. Really, that long already? Wow. Anyway, almost never, okay? And some of you think that's weird because I've noticed from reading comments and messages that some of you use noise reduction all the time on all your photos and videos. Now, it could be that you just hate noise and that's fine, of course, but I also have the feeling that some of you don't really understand noise and that's why you hate it so much. So that's why I wanted to make this short video real quick to show you that not all noise is created equal and not all noise is bad, in my opinion. But let's start with the real bad noise first. Color noise noise or chromatic or chroma noise. I don't know the correct word in English, but it's these colored specks, blue, red and green, appearing in your photos or videos. Sometimes even blotches and, you know, these mushy looking areas. Ugly. Usually appears when photos are underexposed and in shadowy dark areas. And it gets even worse when you try to recover those shadows. And it looks at its worst when it's in someone's face, because, you know, then that person looks sick or something, like a green mushy face, ugh, not nice. But yeah, underexposure and high ISOs is what usually causes it, so in most cases, unless you have a real shitty camera of course, in most cases it's avoidable by adding some more lights or by being more mindful about your exposure for example, you know? But I think we can all agree that color noise, chroma noise, chromatic noise is ugly and you should try to avoid it or get rid of it in post, if possible of course. But then there's also luminance noise and that's something completely different. I mean, same but different, if you know what I mean. Luminance noise is colorless and it's basically variations in pixel brightness. And it varies based on type of sensor, ISO settings, you know, higher ISO, more noise, and the size of the pixels in the camera sensor. Bigger pixels will give you chunkier luminance noise. It will be more noticeable. Now, even though you probably also associate luminance noise with higher ISOs, which is correct, luminance noise is actually present from low, the lowest ISOs to the highest ISOs, in both shadows and highlights, and even in perfectly exposed images. It's just there, all the time, unavoidable. Here, for example, this is an image shot at ISO 200, and when I zoom in, you'll see that grainy texture, luminance noise. But did you hear what I said? Grainy texture. And, well, that's exactly what I think it is, texture. I like it. It's not exactly the same as film grain, but it's pretty similar. It adds texture. So luminance noise, in my opinion, is good noise. I mean, there are limits, of course. It, it shouldn't be distracting, but you know, a little bit of luminance noise, I like it. But why do so many people hate luminance noise then? Well, a few reasons, I guess. First of all, you just hate all noise and that's fine. But it could also be that, you know, sometimes noise appears in strokes, banding, these days, with modern cameras, it's usually nice and even. It looks like film grain almost, but 10, 15 years ago, banding was horrible sometimes. And maybe that's why some people associate it still with something bad, because of that. Another reason why I think a lot of people hate it is because when shooting in certain profiles, your camera will already apply noise reduction to the image. If you shoot JPEGs, for example, chances are that some kind of noise reduction has been applied to those images. And of course, if you're used to that look, images with noise reduction, I mean, yeah, if then all of a sudden you start shooting raw, well, you'll be like, wow, what's all that noise? But that's what an unprocessed image looks like. It has luminance noise. Another reason could be that when you mix footage or images, you know, high ISO images and low ISO images, well, then it, it kind of looks like they don't match. It doesn't bother me that much, but maybe for some people it's a problem. And I bet that there are more reasons why people hate noise. So maybe let me know in the comments. Do you hate noise? Do you like noise? Do you use noise reduction all the time? I don't know. And it doesn't really matter because you can do whatever you want, but I kind of want to know. So let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.